So yeah, I was uh, re-listening to the April 2015 JW broadcast, and this is so funny. Um, I'm looking at what minute that was. Let's see. Around minute 13, he tells about some of Paul's missionary journeys and how he displayed endurance. And um, I had to have a chuckle about that because of all the JW lingo he puts into there. Um, like the first missionary journey, he calls it an exciting assignment. <laughs> and then um, the people in Pisidian Antioch asked them to come back. And so they came back for a return visit. <laughs> And then, um, then he met, you know, after the second visit to Pisidian Antioch, which was much more problematic, he uses the word opposers about five times. Um, it, it's just so weird how he throws all that lingo into there. And then another thing I noticed about um, minute 20, they tell these stories about people in persecuted countries and stuff and um, always in these stories is the urgency of the literature it's so obvious that that has such a priority over scripture and that they have to have it in addition to scripture I guess if they even have a bible which I don't think he mentioned but um, you can always see the urgency of the literature. And it talked about how they were, um, you know, ha got some equipment to make copies of it secretly. And it was so dangerous. And they were risking jail uh, for the literature, for, for printing the literature. It's, it, you, you, when you watch a lot of these, you, in you, these stories, you can always see the urgency of the literature, um, which is is um makes sense because we know they have said you won't find the truth you won't progress along the light the road to life without being in touch with the channel so i guess it's not really surprising but uh anyway talk to you later